see the sill plates? Oh! <laughs> okay, that I did not know. That's so cool. Hey, what's up everybody? Cody from Detroit Speed here, and we're back with another project update vlog. I'm here with my good friend, Zach Arlen, who is a project shop lead here at Detroit Speed. We're gonna walk around Kevin's GTO because it is about to head to SEMA 2023. All right, Zach, go ahead and walk us through Kevin's GTO and uh, where we're at. So uh, the last time you guys saw this thing, it was still in a bunch of different pieces. Uh, recently, we've been really wrapping up a lot of the final assembly type stuff. So that includes, you know, radiator panel, the uh, top cover for the intake tube, and a bunch of the other engine closeouts, along with the, uh, the cowl panel. I know there were some questions about, you know, hiding the electronics in the wiper cowl. I oh, promised yeah. you, I promised you guys that we would cover it. So, you know, we made sure to get the cowl panel installed and got that all done too. So uh, let's go ahead and start kind of like power plant on this, just for people who might just be catching up. It's an LT5 right, factory right. Uh, GM crate, yes. LT5 that goes into yep. a T56. Yep, it's a uh, Bowler Performance T56 Magnum. Okay. Uh, like you said, GM LT5 makes about 755 horsepower. And then uh, that goes through a gear effects for nine inch with a uh, 382 gear. So it's a whole lot of fun out on the road. So are we pretty much buttoned up in the engine bay for the most part, or is there still anything else that we need to do? Just the engine shroud, which I'm finishing fabrication on that today. All right, here's the, and then, the close uh, out. See, we covered the electronics. <laughs> nice, okay, cool. Let's go ahead and move to the, the interior. Oh, Bruce. Ah, Bruce. Howdy. You, you're doing great, Bruce. You're doing wonderful. You look beautiful. All right, so let's take a look at the interior here. This is done by Avant Garde, which is based out of Southern Florida. So we actually sent them 3D scans, oh gosh, like a year and a half ago, maybe, I think, of the car. Yeah, it's been a little while. <laughs> it's been a little while, but they uh, they worked with uh, the rendering from Tavis Highlander right. um, and our scans, and this is what they came up with. Yeah, I mean, if you look at the, the renderings versus how it looks, I mean, they 100% checked every box. Like, it looks exactly like the renderings. Like, it's it's, it's insane. Yeah, we're, we're kind of blown away, right? Because the, the car almost looks, so we got it so close to the rendering where the interior and the car itself just kind of like, it almost looks fake, right? Yeah. <laughs> right? It yeah, looks like it looks like what we modeled, so. <laughs> Uh, we're really happy with the job that they did, and yeah. uh, we just got done finishing some of the the uh, detail painting, so like stuff like the steering wheel. Um, we added the uh, the gold rings in the center and, and painted the uh, the inserts of uh, the spokes. We also changed out all of the uh, the levers on the steering column, so the turn signal lever, the tilt, and the uh, the hazard switch. So we went with more of a, like a truss design and painted those gold to match some of the other trim. Are they custom or are they something we picked up from somewhere? Uh, those are actually from Ring Brothers. Oh, so cool. we were using Ring Brothers uh, levers on the column and then we actually added a set of their strikers and the uh, door jams too. So. Nice, cool. All right, so let's talk about this shifter ball because this thing is super cool on a her shifter. <laughs> so we've been jokingly calling it the uh, the Bowler Sphere. Uh, the it's, Bowler it's, sphere. From, uh, it's from Mark Bowler and Bowler Performance. We just wanted to go with something a little bit different, but uh, you know, a classic ball style knob at the same time. Right. And then of course, you know, classic muscle car, we had to have the Hurst shifter and did a little bit of detail painting and that as well. Yeah, it's so cool. Just the little touches like that, they get me excited. Yeah, we really tried to try to carry some of that, you know, that gold trim and everything we played off of that. So it's throughout the whole car, yeah. you know, engine bay, interior, even the needles and the gauges, the, the custom gauges from classic instruments turned out really nice. So we, we carried it into there as well. Yeah, and even like over here, I mean, it's the same gold on the trim with the wood inlay, and then even Detroit Speed logo in there. Check that out. Now these pieces can come out, can't they? So if Kevin had like a, a different logo or something he wanted to put in there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are out. magnetic. So we, we have, uh, we actually have three different sets. Yeah, they, they pop out with just, uh, just magnets. I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> That's super cool. Yeah, so we have, we have three different ones, actually. Okay. We have something with, um, you know, Kevin's logo on it. We've got something with our logo. And then of course we have an avant-garde set, oh, um, nice. you know, cool. for the interior shop to kind of represent them. So yeah. they can they can interchange them as they please and kind of choose which ones they want to display. Very cool. So what else do we got in here? We got vintage air controls, of course. Now this is also a um, American Auto Wire wiring harness in here too. All of our wiring is based off of American Auto Wire. You know, it's, that's what we start with. It's just, uh, it's a good quality harness. Um, and it, it gets us a really good head start on where we need to be on all the cars. And then, uh, like you said, Vintage Air, uh, it's a Gen 4 system. Um, we use them in everything. So we're, we're very, very big fans of, of using Vintage Air AC systems. And uh, they've treated us very well. Did you see the sill plates? Oh! <laughs> okay, that I did not know. 
That's so cool. That's us. That's awesome. Dude, y'all y'all killed it with some of these little details. So these are HRE Va how do you say it? Valkyrie, I think. Valkyrie. But, there, <laughs> but there's a there's a J in there. Yeah, there's like some sort of silent J. Not not like the the ICP silent J. But. <laughs> it's like the Ring Brothers Camaro <laughs> spelling, right? That's actually the it's a Ring Brothers edition wheel from HRE. Oh. So I'm pretty sure they they designed them hand in hand with uh, with HRE. Oh, that's cool. Of course, we got bare brakes back here. What size uh, brakes in the front and rear? So we got 15 inch uh, two piece rotors front and rear. They are R spec rotors, and we're using the XTR calipers. Okay, so it's a six pistons front and rear. Yep, six piston front and rear, and then the uh, the wheels again. They're uh, the Valkyrie from HRE, and they are uh, 20 by 10 and 20 by 12 respectively, uh, nice. front to back. Okay, so we're running Michelin tires as we do on uh, pretty much all of our. Detroit speed belt vehicle. So we're 20 inch wheels front and rear, which is what size tire? In the, in the front, wheel? it's uh, 275, 30, 20, and okay. the rear are nice wide 325s. So. Nice. All right, so that's it for this month's project update vlog. Zach and I will both be at SEMA this week with Kevin's 1969 GTO. So come check us out. We'll be at the Holly booth, booth number 22463. And as always, don't forget to like and follow Detroit Speed on social media. We'll see you next time.